Okay, so this was our camera footage from the raccoon. We were seeing how far um, the camera would go. So this is us setting it and getting it ready. Hi again. And then shining a light. And as you can see right there's our trap. And at this point, I'm going to take another video. Well, I'll probably post it before this one. But I'll show you where we have foot traps set. One's right in through here and one's up and through here. Um, this is at 11. Yeah, this is when we set it. So there's Sean. And we're trying to see, like, he's way back here. So we're trying to see if it's still picking up, like, way back there. And it did. And then here at 3.40 in the morning, um, here she comes. So this time we knew that we weren't just live trapping. We were pretty much using the live trap as a bait. Because she's the one who drug off our other one. If you watch my video from before, you'll see her. And she, I found my little cage um, or my little trap. She's just way, she was way too smart. So here she is sniffing. And now, what happens is I'm pretty sure she starts to come around. And as you can see right here, like you can see a little motion right there. I'm pretty sure that's when she gets snapped. Because now I can see my chain right through here moving. And right here she is. And this is her. And by this point, like I can see my grass moving. So by this point, she is stuck. And then finally at 418, you can see that she's trapped. So I had stayed up that night. Um, as you can see on the date stamp, this happened July 30th. So these are super, super simple um, little discs. Sorry, I set you guys down. I gotta eject it. And um, anyway, so these are super simple discs that I use. Um, I got those at Walmart too. It is just a regular little disc, but if you look, it comes with a, well, this is an adapter. So we, Walmart didn't just have a regular um, SD card like this. So I had to get the micro and then it came with the adapter and that's what fits in the cameras. So anyway, I'm gonna get this other video together so I can show you guys exactly how we ended up catching it so maybe if you guys are having problems you guys can do the same thing I have literally been researching and researching and researching um, how to set foot traps um, how to bait live traps and I'll show you what we came up with I think it's a pretty good idea but we'll see okay so this is our trap i've been having a hard time with my speakerphone i don't know what's going on with my phone but um so this is our trap i still have like bait in it i don't like touching a bunch of stuff um i'm cleaning that i gotta clean that out but as you can see if i step back you can see pretty much where our foot traps were i put that foot trap right there there because i wasn't exactly sure where sean had that one I mean, it could have been on up a little bit, like maybe right there. Like, if you look at it, it's maybe about 8 inches, 10 inches away from the trap. But um, we knew she was going to try to get in anyway. And from watching her and having stuff taken out of our traps beforehand, we actually, um, like, you can't move this trap. We took... Uh, stakes like actual metal like nails I'm not sure what kind of nails those are Sean can tell you but um they reminded me almost of like railroad tie nails but anyway it's they are tied down in there and zip tied 
uh, you can see this one's right here. And then we took a clothes hanger, cut it, and that's how we put our clothes hanger on our traps, our foot traps. So when we caught her, she got caught in this one right here. Um, and Sean, I had just mowed a little bit, like trimmed up around the edges and stuff. You can't tell now, but um, I had trimmed up around the edges and um, we had taken grass. Sean had taken dried grass and went over everything. So he dusted like all of this right through here. All of that was like dusted with grass. So you couldn't even see them. So like that morning it was scary because we had them set for two nights. And it was scary because on the second, on the first night I had to come out that morning and set them. Um, but then after that. Um, we ended up catching her and then we, I was just using like an old handle right there it is, to a broom and, you know, making them go off. So that's how we set our trap. For this bait, we actually used, um, some like Skyline, old Skyline, like chili cheese fries. Um, and I also used fried chicken. I noticed that every single time I baited it with fried chicken or some kind of like chicken, chicken nuggets from McDonald's, it does not matter. I caught a raccoon. Every time I baited them with uh, cat food, I caught a possum. So my very first tip if something is getting your animals is number one, um, as you can see, our trap, I'm taking off my glove. Our trap is right here and right there is our camera so like literally pointing at the trap i knew they were coming from the woods and right there's the woods there's our tree line so first camera there so if you walk on down i have like a row of rows of sharons um i was having chickens taken and then um they were being killed or at least ruffled around enough to leave piles of feathers right in through here. So from here all the way over to here, I had like four to five different types of chickens feathers. Um, and then they would, they were being trailed back. I did have one out like in the front back there, like up there and it trailed down our actual lane. But anyway, second one is right there on the bottom of my Rosa Sharon. And I put that there to see if anything did get my chicken, what it was, maybe it was a hawk. I don't know. Um, so that's where I stuck my second camera. Um, a lot of trial and error here. I mean, as you can see, I still have feathers, you know, like you can see, still see remnants of what has happened here. Um, out of 36 chickens and two ducks, I now only have, um, 12 chickens and one duck. Um, I do have two guineas inside, um, and out of all my chickens, I have two roosters. So, before I even bought all the babies this year that I have bought, um, I had 11 chickens, 11 hens, and now I'm only down to 10 hens and two roosters. So, I actually started off with one less hen than I had this year, but she makes up for it. I'm hoping that's a girl. She does though. I love my duck. Um, so very first thing I would do is buy some trail cams. Like I said, I got those from Walmart. They take, um, eight double A batteries. So all in all, all together, buying the batteries, the disc, the SD cards, that have the adapters and I can use them in my digital camera. I can use those in anything. Um, all in all, I spent around, we'll say, um, let's see here, like 80 bucks, 90 bucks getting trail cams, batteries, and two SD cards. The trail cams were $28.88. They were one of the cheaper ones from Walmart and they have done an amazing job. I was skeptical at first because I didn't, they didn't really have really good reviews. Um, but they've worked beautifully. Like they don't use a whole lot of power on your batteries. I've not even had to change my batteries yet. So, uh, set up your trail cams where you think that you're going to have, uh, animals visiting. 
And then, uh, invest in some live traps. I would go ahead and get the Have a Hearts. They are a little bit more expensive, but we had a cheaper brand. And we borrowed the Have a Hearts from a neighbor. And the Have a Hearts are phenomenal. The pedal that they have to step on to, like, get the trap door to close. Um, that is extremely quick. Um, the littler trap, I can't say the same about, but the big trap, it's, it's phenomenal. And it has smaller holes too. So whatever's in there cannot dig it, like dig at anything, smaller holes. Um, my cheaper ones, I got a set for like 30 bucks or something like that. Like a big one and a small one. My big one does not work as well. My small one works great. So, I mean... It all just depends on you. The foot traps I ended up getting from Rural King, and those were like, I bought two sets. I bought one set, oop, he's trying to establish himself. Um, I bought one set with rubber, one set with uh, non-rubber. <laughs> She's tickling my toes. Um, well, thank you for the lovin's, yeah. Thank you. Um, so anyway, set your traps. Be consistent because everything will come back. Raccoons, possums, cats, um, foxes, they'll all come back until they clear out your flock. Um, so far, I've been, I've not had any problems with anything missing since July 30th. So, and it is August 7th. So, good week so far. Um, very good week. I'm super excited. Um, hopefully it continues like this. So, uh, cat food really draws in your possums. I've caught every single one of my possums off cat food. I've caught every single one of my raccoons off of waffles and chicken. Uh, some kind of chicken. Fried chicken. Um, I think one night I had chicken leg quarters that I had baked in the oven. They were left over. So, chicken leg quarters, whatever you got. Chicken. Raccoons apparently love waffles and chicken. Um, so, thanks for hanging in there. Thanks for hanging in there with me, you guys. Um, and staying followed up on this whole chicken crisis. Um, I haven't posted any videos of my guineas because I've already lost five of them. I don't know why. I've just, it's a bad year for poultry for me this year. And fowl. Um, because guineas and ducks are fowl. But, um, yeah, it, bad year. So I've not taken any videos of them because I'm like, I'm not taking a video of anything else until I know it's going to survive. Um, so... If you have any suggestions of, um, you know, if I could do a better job of setting my traps or anything like that, let me know. Do not hesitate to let me know what I could bait with. Um, I'm going to keep them baited. I'm going to keep them open. And uh, I'm going to keep catching critter after critter just to make sure everything's okay. Um, please comment, rate, and subscribe. Thanks, everyone.